Mount Taranaki is the second highest mountain in the North Island of New Zealand. It is definitely the star of New Plymouth with its perfectly shaped snow capped peak. In this video, we go through the best photo spot to capture the full beauty of Mount Taranaki. We recommend planning the trip as late as possible with the latest weather report if you want the best unobstructed photos of Mount Taranaki. The weather can change at the last minute and often Mount Taranaki is covered by clouds. We learnt our lesson from our first visit. Our first stop is Paritutu Rock. Paritutu Rock is a steep 15 minute walk and climb. There is a car park at the start of the track. The first half of the hike is mainly oar stairs, but then you will need to pull yourself up the chain to get to the top. Also remember to give way to people depending on who has a place to rest. Anyone of reasonable fitness and flexibility can do this walk. At the top of the rock, you will get amazing views of the city, the coast and Mount Taranaki. You can even see Mount Ruapehu on a good day. Number 4, Lake Mangamahui. The car park is at Mangamahui Lookout on Google Maps and we recommend going to the two red crosses for the photos. It is only a 5 minute walk from the car park to the lookout. Also be aware of the opening hours. We recommend using long exposure to smooth out the water reflection. Number 3, Kent Road. Here you can get a picture of the road that leads to Mount Taranaki. The photographer needs to stand as far away as safely possible and zoom in to make the mountain look bigger. Take great care and do this at your own risk and there, as there is no dedicated parking spots and you will be standing in the middle of a rural road. Make sure to park off to the left side around about here and that you are constantly checking both directions for cars. If it is too crowded here, come back another time as you do not want to get in the way of passing cars. Number 2. Whalebone Bridge there is a parking lot near the bridge. Here you can capture Mount Taranaki through the middle of the bridge. It is meant to look something like this, but unfortunately it was under renovation when we went. So these were the photos we got instead. Our number one spot is the Poakai Tarns. The track starts at Mangore Track Trailhead and is a 20 minute drive from New Plymouth CBD. There is plenty of car parks at the trailhead. The track is five kilometers, which takes about two and a half hours one way and is mostly boardwalk and uphill. It is suitable for any hikers of reasonable fitness. Once you arrive at the tarn, there is an unofficial line to take the photos. Just remember to stay on the boardwalk and be considerate of others. Make sure to get down as low as possible to get the photo of the mountain and the reflection. For pure landscape photos, use long exposure to smooth out the reflection. Again, you can even see Mount Ruapehu on a good day. If you come during peak winter, the tarn might be frozen over, which is also really cool. Be aware that the path may also be frozen over, so take care when walking. We hope this video has helped you plan your Mount Taranaki adventure. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.